Natasha Wicks beat out over a thousand females in the first ever Max Magazine Octagon Girl search. As you'll see, she's not your typical model. Throughout what should be another. The bright lights of UFC is a big adjustment for new Octagon Girl Natasha Wicks. Well, I still am shocked to this day, like, oh my god, I can't believe I won. Although the beauty was born in Nevada, it's not your typical Las Vegas upbringing. <laughs> I grew up with seven other siblings, homeschooled, and we actually lived on the outskirts of town on like a little farm. So we had everything but cows. We were pretty sheltered. You know, anytime we were driving around downtown, we had coloring books so that we weren't like looking at the billboards. These days, you may find Natasha riding around a little differently. Longboarding. An outdoors lover, it's a sport she took up while spending a year in Hawaii with her sister. After living in Hawaiian surfing, it was like, I need something like that. Usually I go when it's pretty dark, because it's cooler out. And sometimes I'm weird and I'll put like a little wig on and just kind of be like, eh. The former college runner credits sports for keeping her five foot two frame slim and trim. If I want to eat some cookies, I'll eat some cookies, but I love working out. I work out a good five, six days a week. Natasha also gets plenty of exercise as a go-go dancer inside XS Nightclub, but she's not too big on partying. It's usually a special occasion. They're like, yeah, I'll have a drink, but for the most part, I don't drink at all. As time rolls on and she enjoys her new UFC contract, Natasha says she's just cruising when it comes to planning her future. I just I have a list of things that I would love to try. I'm kind of just enjoying this while it's here, and then whatever happens and goes from, you know, I'll go take it from there. Learn more about my girl Natasha Bye. logging on to LasVegasSun.com. Get the scoop from one of our sports writers who got a very personal longboarding lesson straight from Miss Wicks.